And so on, um, on your praise on the glory to Yahweh, some how shy, by some of like a dash, and double on to the elders and apostles of great Lord, one, two, and two. And please, the blessing and salutation to the hopeful elect. And um, yeah, man, this is basically an example. Israelite foreigners. <clears throat> Jamaican Chinese. Of course, everybody thinks I'm in here, Mr. Chin. But Kyle. No, it's cool, no man. <laughs> I'm Jamaican Chinese. Obviously, people think me eat dog. See lunch? See dinner? Huh. <laughs> I'm Jamaican Chinese, of course everybody thinks I have a wholesale. Yeah, who is Santa Claus? <laughs> I'm Jamaican Chinese, of course everyone thinks I drive a minibus. <laughs> I'm Jamaican Chinese, obviously everybody thinks I know Chinese. Joseph! Sweet and sour chicken? I'm Chinese Jamaican, of course everybody thinks I know martial arts. China man! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm Jamaican Chinese, of course. Everybody thinks I have a big family. Yay! Yes, you may. I'm Jamaican Chinese, of course. Everybody thinks I'm. <clears throat> and yeah, man. Literally, because of the scattering, Jake can look like anything now. I want to say anything can mean the other nations that were scattered amongst. <clears throat> And let me head on over to um first Samuel sixteen and seven and it says But the Lord Yahweh was so I said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature because I have refused him. For the Lord saith not as man saith, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. <clears throat> so yeah, man, <laughs> the Lord sees the spirit, and what <laughs> the majority of um these carnal camps who aren't fishers, who aren't a part of um the holy priesthood, that they're carnal, and they look on the outward appearance of um my Israelite farm and they'll automatically think, oh no, nah, he 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 ain't Jake. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's, there, there's, there's signs, man. <clears throat> and I forgot, I forgot which camp it was, but um, oh, I can't, I can't remember which camp it was, but um, I remember one of the elders basically posted a video of um, <laughs> the so-called Edomite and dancing, <laughs> and literally. In the common board section, one, one dude was like, um, just because he can dance, that doesn't make him an Israelite. <laughs> and you see, you see, like, literally, what that guy doesn't understand is, Israelites are known for their skill. They're known for the talent. They're known for their soul. They're known for setting trends. And, um... <laughs> Those who have that spiritual eye, they, they can see, they can see when um an Israelite foreigner comes up, and then you can you can tell when it's a jade man. Come on, man, it's it's, it's easy for us. <clears throat> but yeah, man, like I said, the Lord looketh on the spirit, and even then, like I may mention before, man, the Lord said He was gonna scatter us among all nations. You see, there's loads, man. Well, let me start. Um, Deuteronomy 4 and 27 it says, And the Lord Jehovah Shemal Shai shall scatter you among the nations, and you shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. So, yeah, we were scattered among the nations. So, what do you think is going to happen when? An Israelite man in his prime, <clears throat> tall as hell, attractive, comes across the other nation of women. <laughs> He's gonna get down, man. For for example, um, Joseph, he was a, he was a very attractive Israelite man. 
Hence why the Pharaoh's wife took a liking to him. And, and she was willing to commit adultery. And literally... <laughs> she was literally, literally going to... Um, what's it called? Um, what's the word? Um, I forgot what the word is, man. Oh, what's it called? It's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, man. Yeah, I think... yeah. Oh, man. What was it again? Yeah, extort. Yeah, that's it. To all the hell was in my house there. Yeah, it's extort. She tried to extort Joseph and literally tried to say, I'm going to say you did this, this, and that. If you don't lay down with me. <clears throat> and you got to keep in mind, literally, in those times, the Israelite men were a lot more stronger, a lot more taller, <clears throat> and evidently they were living off the earth. So you, you already know this, their skin would have been glowing and all that, all this and that, southern kingdom and northern kingdom. And it's not for um, an Israelite man to, to lie down with a woman, especially of another nation. <laughs> Yo, it's easy, man. <laughs> And I, I'm I'm speaking from experience. Like literally, I have all types of women. When I say all types of women, I mean, like literally, I have a whole bunch of women who find me attractive. I'm gonna say a whole bunch. I mean, like different different nationalities, and it it would be very, very easy for me to just lay my seed in all of these different nations of women. And then on top of that, when the child comes out, it's 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 going it's it's not gonna it's not gonna always look like me. <clears throat> For example, basic genetics. Like literally, when a man lies down with a woman, the appearance of that terrestrial body or that body that's been made or fashioned in the womb, it can take on the appearance of the dad. And also the mother. Sometimes the mother's genes are stronger, or sometimes the dad's genes are stronger, or sometimes they're equal. And literally, in this case, because Jake's been scattered among all nations, and it's been generation after generation, what should I say? It's been thousands of generations. Literally, the Israelite fans aren't going to look like us, man. <laughs> and literally one generation is, is is enough. Literally one generation is enough to change the whole um appearance of the lineage of Jacob. <laughs> For example, Blake Griffin. Like he 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 looks like an Edomite. He's got light skin, kinda reddish gingerish hair, freckles. But his dad being um Haitian or the tribe of Le Levi or Loya. <clears throat> his 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 dark skin man. And all all his dad did was lay down with his mum, which is a uh, Edomite, blonde. <laughs> and literally Blake Griffin came out and then Blake Griffin decided to lay with an Edomite woman. Blonde Blue eyes, and Blake Griffin's son. <laughs> his appearance isn't the isn't the same as his his dad being Blake Griffin. They look completely different. Literally, his son looks like an Edomite man. He's got blonde hair, blue eyes, like slightly tanned skin. <clears throat> But yeah, man, if you were to look on his outer appearance, you would think, nah, that ain't Jake, man. But if you go by the spirit, it will tell you otherwise, man. And another thing, um, pedigree. Numbers 1 and 18, it says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees all going into their nationality or going into their bloodline. Mm. 
So okay, going to the bloodline or the lineage, if I didn't already say that. After their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years and twenty years old and upward, by their poles. <clears throat> and yeah, man, the nationality or the bloodline is by way of the dad. So whatever the whatever nationality the dad is, that's what the child is going to be or the offspring is going to be. <clears throat> and um uh, I was gonna get something else. Pedigree. Pedigree, pedigree, pedigree. It says the record of descent of an animal showing it to be purebred. <clears throat> and it's the basically the same thing with um nationality as well. But let's have a look at the the etymology and, and see. Oh like it says, um genealogical table or chart and it says um what else is here it says oh, an old an old manuscript it says descent so someone who you descend from <laughs> and that's like saying the 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 the, the three classifications the sons of god the sons of the wicked and the sons of men, like literally their forefathers. So for example, if you descend from the line of the sons of God, you would be an Israelite in today's society. That would be your nationality. And for the sons of men, there's too many. But for um, an example, we got um, the Ishmaelites, which the forefather of the Ishmaelites or the Arabs <clears throat> is um Ishmael. And then you got the so called Africans. I wanna say the Africans, I mean Sudanese, um literally um what's it called? What the uh, Yeah, I'm gonna just tell you their appearance because I don't even know their name. I mean those so there's also South Africans as well, but evidently there's Israelite mingled among them. And you also got um them African tribes. They got the bones in the nose. They got rings around their necks. They got paint on their body. They they basically dressed naked. <laughs> and you also got um oh yeah I forgot to say who they descend from is basically um Ham. And well, you got the Ethiopians descent from Kush, which Kush is basically one of the sons of Ham. Anyway, literally the same thing. And then you also got Elam. You also got Elam, or the Elamites, <clears throat> which Elam is one of the sons of um that comes out of the line of Shem. And the Elam Elamites today would be um. Iranians, Pakistani, Indian, Bangladeshi, or Bangladesh. Um, there's probably there's probably a lot more, <clears throat> but um, yeah. Carrying on, the sons of the wicked. <laughs> we, we already know who that is. Come on, Esau, Edom, being the South Korean white people or Caucasians or Cave dwellers. <clears throat> but um <laughs> yeah man. Like literally we we all de we all descend from a forefather. Hence why <clears throat> when it's when it's made mention of um in the scriptures it, it talks about you're coming from a particular like person or or forefather. And even then, you know what? Let me get an example. Yeah, the 12. Mm. 
Yeah, Acts 7 and 8, and it says, And he gave him the covenant of circumcision. And so Abraham begat Isaac and circumcised him the eighth day. And Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat the twelve patriarchs. And that's where you get the twelve tribes of Israel. <clears throat> Which, <laughs> they are known as the sons of God. <clears throat> So yeah, man, we, we, we all descend from someone. I want to say someone, I mean, being an Israelite, we descend from the lineage of the sons of God. And you also got to remember that the other nations came out of the line of the sons of God too. And you also got to keep in mind that when the Lord caused the first death, being flooding the earth with um, water, a whole load of people died. Remember, the Lord only saved eight, which was Noah, Ham, Shem, and Japhet. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Japhet. Um, the Polynesians, the, the, the Samoans, <clears throat> them, them type of people. And then you also got, um, yeah, like I was saying, it was basically Noah, his three sons, and all their wives. And literally, through them, the nations were brought back, man. And hence why, you, if you go into the land of Shem, more, more nations came out of Shem, <clears throat> being Elam, being Ishmael, being Esau, Edom, being the sons of God, being the Israelites. <clears throat> like, literally, man. And that's another thing. Just as there's Israelite foreigners, there's Edomite foreigners and Elamite, or foreigners from the nation of Elam, or foreigners from the nation of Ishmael. <laughs> like literally, there's there's literally foreigners from all different types of nations, because you gotta keep in mind that <laughs> the the nations. We're mingling among each other, man. Hence why America's a mountain pot. There's a whole bunch of different nationalities scattered over there. Which I say living over there. And they'd the, the be basically mixing. Or laying down with women that isn't of their nation. Or the women laying down with men that isn't of their nation. So then you get these um different appearances. <clears throat> but then again, <laughs> there's Old Testament people and people who, um, what's it called? Um, no, I'm going to just say, there's, there's people out there, a lot of people out there who seem to think you have to have melanin in order to be an Israelite. But like I said, you go by the, you go by the spirit, man. <clears throat> Literally, <laughs> and and even then, a telltale sign is reading this book, man. Prophesying, like like it says, man. Intent. Oh, that's not it. What was it called again? <clears> hmm. <throat> Honestly, I, I think I think I've forgotten it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, praise you, have a Shem Hashem. Hebrews four and twelve. It says, "For the word of Yahweh, but Shem Hashem is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing." 
even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And that's what the Lord said to prophesy, man. Because those, those Israelites who are supposed to get it, they're going to get it, man. They're going to hear the word. They're going to be drawn to it. And especially when they hear the name Yahweh Shem Shem Shai, they're going to be sanctified through that name, man. Just like when it goes into um the the ones that have the mark on their foreheads or the servants of God who have the marks on their foreheads, basically going into knowing the name of the Lord, man. What the scriptures say? Remember the book of Psalms. There we go, Psalms 91 and 14. It's because he has set his love upon me, and therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? And yet that's because they had the name. They're going to call upon that name, which is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh which is how is the Heavenly Father, which his name means he exists or he is. And if you think about it, the meaning of his name, there's literally no limit. There is no limitations on his name. <laughs> and then they got um Bahasham, meaning in the name. And then you got Yahweh Shai, which is the first of the line of the sons of God. Or he's known as, um, what's it called, um, the, the son of God. Or the heathen like to ignorant recall him Jesus Christ, but his name is Yahweh Shai. He was named after the very thing which he is going to do. A Norman omen, which is going to save his people. And even then, his name being Deliverer. Or he delivers. <clears throat> Cause literally if you um if you were to say his name in um in the English which deliverer, that would, that would be Joshua. And even then <clears throat> there's another Joshua <clears throat> that's in this, that's in the scriptures, which is it's it's not the same people. It's two different people, but they have the same name. And if you basically um translate that name Joshua or Deliverer into the ancient Pale Hebrew, it will be um Hawashai. So basically um Ha Wa Shai. <clears throat> but because he also has the the he, just like his father, because obviously there's there's also a separation between the servant Joshua and then the actual Lord, the, the Saviour. <clears throat> Hence why his name is He Deliverer. Just like his just like his father, he is or he exists. It's the same with Yah Hawashai, which the Yah being the He. So when you're saying Yah you're basically cutting off the Lord's name and you're limiting his name. And then again, the Israelites are known for doing that anyway. So I can make mention here, man. Psalm 38 and 41. Yes, yeah, Psalm 78 and 33. So therefore their days did consume in vanity and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they saw him and they returned and inquired early after the power. And yeah, that's another thing um, where it makes mention of why shall you be stricken anymore? You will revolt even more and more. And that's why the two thousand will get cut off. 
<laughs> the, the, the Lord ain't gonna deliver them. Man. He's just gonna take their bodies away, and then they're gonna be up in um, the third heaven where the Lord is, and they're gonna come down or be born again by literally having them come down as um, their next children, man. their offspring. <clears throat> Carrying on. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I said, then remember that God was their rock and the high God their redeemer. He said, never let. Oh. Ha, huh, that's, that's, that's got me thinking. Because, <clears throat> like it says, and they remember that God was their rock. And then it goes on to make mention of the high God, their redeemer. And if you think about it, <clears throat> the chief cornerstone, <laughs> the chief cornerstone is Yahweh Shai. And then you got the Redeemer, which is the Holy One of Israel, being the Heavenly Father. <laughs> That's beautiful, that is. <clears throat> and it says, nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their tongues. For the heart was not right with him, neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath. And yet this time, the Lord's wrath is going to pour out upon the two thirds. That's why they're going to get touched by the nuclear missiles in America. Going on. That was it. Yeah, for he remembered that they were but flesh and wind that passeth away and cometh. Yeah. Okay, man, I'm, I'm tired, man. And cometh not again. How often they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert. And yeah, like I said, that's the reason why they were destroyed in the wilderness. Being the two first. And it says, yeah, they turned back and tempted God. And limited the Holy One of Israel. And that's why it makes mention of this. Um... Yeah, here we go, Jude 105. It says, I'll therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So, yeah, those who were complaining and limiting the Holy One, the Lord has just had to get rid of them, man. And he's going to do it again. But this time, he's not going to deliver all the Israelites out, out from the land of the north and from all the lands where they had driven them. What he's going to do is deliver the elect of the elect. Oh. Deliver the elect of the elect that are scattered in Babylon or in America. I said the main deliverance is going to take place. And then you got the elect of the elect who are only in different locations. I'm going to say different locations. I mean, on different continents. But, um, yeah. I hope this was at the fire. I'm going to give a praise. I'm going to go to the Alba Shimon Shabbat Shimon Kapodash. I'm going to follow on.